This is a big opportunity for a stop for West Virginia. And no matter what happens at the end of this, you need West Virginia to have to waste a timeout. If you don't get the first down, that's what you have to do. Or if they don't use it, you at least want the clock to move if you're Baylor, right? For, for sure. But I would expect that they would right. use it. I agree. They go oh, they're going to throw it. Looking for Thornton on a deep ball. Simultaneous. It looked like Thornton and Washington were battling. And it's a touch. It is a touch. Are you kidding me with that play, Tyquan Thornton? Unbelievable. Aggressive play call on their best cover guy, Washington. <laughs> the trust and the faith they have in this quarterback that they have in Thornton, the sophomore out of Miami, Florida, a 50-yard gain when your team needed it most. Coach Rule said it yesterday. Brewer is a guy who wants the ball in his hands in the big moments. Third. So it's a matchup that Baylor likes. They throw the fade and caught. Benzel Mims. Normally you would have had Jeff Gladney in coverage, but it was Keon Stewart this time in the coverage. Have to go for two. Only five foot 11, 160 pounds. And really, Mims got up a little early on that one. Jumped a little early, but still able to haul that pass in. Punched a Buddy Ryan through. <laughs> There's a pass over the middle in the oh, scene. Nice. It's Fleeks. He's fleet afoot. And no one will get him. Touchdown, Baylor. A flag is down, but it could be roughing the passer. This one may stand. We'll see. The 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. We'll attempt the try. Tui Halamaka, Timmy was the guy that got the hand to the face. And Radarius Williams, the cornerback number eight, was the one that was in the hip pocket of Fleeks. And you saw 4-3 speed there. Fleeks was able to put him in his back pocket and go to pay dirt. Charlie Brewer so far. 11 of 16 for 111 yards with a couple of strikes and a couple of scores. It's Ebner blocking the back. That helped. Now adjusting. Ebner coming over to the near side. Can he get to the goal line? Touchdown, Banner. Coach said that at this point, he would be one of the special guys with the big playability to go out there and make some plays. And that's exactly what Tristan Ebner did. He reversed field, had the defense going one way, is able to turn around. They run the option play, kick it to him. But he's just so fast, so quick with his big play ability, outruns the defense, finds a hole. And if you watch downfield, the receivers kept blocking. They didn't give up on the play, understanding that this guy has some big play capabilities. And then drives him back, and all the running back did was just get in behind and move. They'll throw for the first time of the second half. And grab is made out of bounds, though. Nice touch by Good Brewer. effort by Sneed. Just bring it back a little further. How close was he to bring it down in bounds? And out of bounds. Yeah. By the time he controlled it, the knees down out of bounds. Great effort. Man. They have a lot of confidence at Brewer. You can tell. And you get more and more confidence with the throws like that. It'll be second and ten. Opening 90 seconds. They are under reviews. You can hear that in the background. Well, and then don't forget the center started every game last year at left tackle. Jake Frumorgan, the senior from Tampa. <laughs> uh, he's transferred from Clemson. Now, does he get any part down? Well, he hits the pylon, he doesn't the pylon. he? So if it is a catch, it's a touchdown. Wow. Great concentration. Is, does he control it? That's the problem. We need to see. Yeah, he did. I think Great. he controlled it. <laughs> At this point, you don't you don't want that to happen if you're defense. It is simultaneous right there at the catch and the pylon. He secured it. Big Scott. 12 officiating crew looking upstairs right now. I take this game over and putting it out of reach of Stephen F. Austin. 
All right, let's see what our referee and the booth review has come up with. After review, the ruling on the field, the ruling is touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah. You're one or no, and I'm 0 for 1 to start the new season. <laughs> and R.J. Sneed has his first score of the new year. The sophomore from Cypress, Texas. Play fake to Hasty. There was some pressure. He'll throw to Mims, who's by himself, adjusts and makes a great catch. Denzel Mims spinning and finds the rock inside the 25. It's a huge pickup for Baylor, gain of 35. I mean, he runs a double move on Andrew Bird, and he loses him, and then the ball, he has to kind of track it over his right shoulder. This is like a center fielder in baseball. Look how he tracks it over his right shoulder and gets both feet in bounds. That's what NFL scouts like about this kid, and I think he's got a chance to be a pretty good draft pick this next spring.